Dutch artist Marianne Teoween used rubble to rebuild a house on the Gaza Strip. She transformed what was destroyed into an artistic installation. This house in Khan Yunus in the southern Gaza Strip has no doors or windows. It has no floors. Its roof lets the rain in. It was bombed two years ago during fighting between the Israeli army and Palestinian militants. Marian Tewin specializes in turning unwanted places into works of art. She transformed this house into a sculpture. I am investigating my whole life why people destroy the world, why people build, build up the world. And here in Gaza, I cannot be closer to that polarity. You in Gaza, the people are building up Gaza. And then the bombs fall again. And this house is an example. You can see where the bomb came in, you see? So I don't want to make political statement, but I've chosen to be in Gaza because the people in Gaza are a super example of how to build again. The Dutch artist had to cater to the conditions in the Gaza Strip. Cement is scarce there, so while rebuilding the walls, she left space between the bricks to make the most of the natural light. She also used rubble and bits of tiles to construct a column that snakes up to the ceiling. It was bombed, and that's negative. But I think I made something positive out of it. I created a new image, and for now, everything is standing up. It's not chaos anymore. I put all pieces, all small rocks, all rubbish, I put it into order. There's one major difference between the house in Gaza and the previous works in the Netherlands, Russia and South Africa. The new step in Gaza is that I started with a building which has been destroyed already by war. In Holland, the buildings were destroyed after my artwork. Her assistant hopes the artwork sends a message about the Gaza Strip. My message to the Palestinian people is to come here and look at this beauty. We the people of Palestine, despite the blockade and the war, and all the wars that have taken place, we still love art and beauty, and we love life. The building will eventually be demolished because the owner wants to construct a family home. But the artist wants to send a message about the opposing forces of construction and destruction. And she hopes it will resonate long after the installation is gone.